we're getting to the point where every brain injury has a degree of POTS or dysautonomia, every patient. So we have to address that in our exams, and we have to address that in um, our diagnostics and also our programs. Now, uh, most of the patients have chronic fatigue. They really can't do much. They have problems with sound. They have problems with uh, heat and cold changes. Um, they have problems with uh, visual overload, light sensitivity. And the holidays present problems with all those things. Welcome to My Pods Podcast. I'm Dr. Joe Schneider, and after 35 years as a functional neurologist, a personal journey through stroke recovery and helping thousands of patients, I'm here to share breakthrough solutions for POTS and neurological wellness. From getting out of bed in the morning to rebuilding your nervous system, this is your guide to understanding and overcoming neurological challenges. Let's begin this journey to recovery together. Good morning, Dr. Joe Schneider from the Hope Brain Center and um, the Hope Regeneration Center. Uh, we are past Thanksgiving into the holidays. I have not produced a lot of podcasts over the last several weeks, and I'd like to apologize. Um, we're very busy, which is really good. So we're helping patients that have had brain injury, uh, especially patients that have had dysautonomia and POTS. Um, we're getting to the point where every brain injury has a degree of POTS or dysautonomia, every patient. So we have to address that in our exams, and we have to address that in um, our diagnostics and also our programs. Um, so we're very, very grateful for that. Um, now, I want to change the subject a little bit. Uh, to uh, patients with brain injuries and the holidays. Now, uh, most of the patients have chronic fatigue. They really can't do much. They have problems with sound. They have problems with uh, heat and cold changes. Um, they have problems with uh, visual overload, light sensitivity. And the holidays present problems with all those things. So if you think about it, if you go to a house and uh, they have their lights up and the Christmas tree is glowing, patients with POTS usually have issues with the diameter of their pupils and uh, to regulate light, and they can't do it. So it can... Um, give them anxiety, can give them headaches. Uh, headaches are actually more common, but usually headaches and anxiety go together. So you have a problem socializing because of the overload, the visual overload, the sound overload, because when you go to parties, people are talking, there's a lot of sound, or uh, they're watching uh, sports on television, football games are very, very popular during the holidays. And uh, people will cheer and shout and so forth. And so getting together during the holidays for people with dysautonomia or brain injury becomes an impossible task. Now with that, become they get a lot of uh, guilt and shame over it that they can't like participate with their family, their immediate family, and also their extended families uh, during the holidays because of um, a brain injury, which uh, can create a lot of social anxiety, but also can cause a lot of anxiety because they can't do what they used to do. And people become depressed to the point where they don't feel like they'll ever come back. They're ever going to recover from an injury and have a normal life again. So their life impact is huge, huge life impact. And so is the emotional uh, baggage that comes along with wanting to be with 
your loved ones, your family, your friends, and so forth, and not be able to do that for any length of time, it brings a lot of issues, a lot of issues. And not only just for brain injury, but patients that have issues with uh, cancer, um, autoimmunity. Uh, there's so many different things that can cause these uh, increased anxiety during the holidays. So my message is not to the people that are suffering, but the caregivers. The caregivers to have more understanding. Because as a caregiver, you can see a person and think that, you know, if they only tried harder, if they only, like, would, you know, get out of bed or if they eat better, if they exercise or if they did this or did that, then the holidays would go better and then they would probably be better. They don't understand the impact that this is having on the patient, on our patient or their loved one. Now, I mean, I have had a stroke. Now, I got a call yesterday from a, a patient um, in another state who had a um, same type of stroke that I had, but on the opposite side, on the right subcortex, basal ganglion, and um, thalamus was injured also. And uh, the patient is still struggling greatly. It's been over a year. And then I think back to the time that I went and the struggles I was having, and um, the ability that, that I had in recovering from, from a stroke. Now, you know, I get, oh, I get comments from, from my family members that, yeah, you know, your stroke wasn't that bad. You were lucky. You got the care and so forth and so on. So they always made judgment calls about who you are, what you did, what you didn't do. And I would say that um, through the grace of God, I have one of the best centers in the world to treat brain injury. As a functional neurologist and a chiropractor, I understand how grateful I am that I came across all the technologies and all the experience and rehab that we have here to get people better. And it's not easy. It's not easy. And it continues to be difficult. Now, I would say that in 2025, going into 2026, that I'm on a new level of recovery than I had in previous years. So uh, the big thing that happened to me this year is we started using um, some Wharton's jelly. Um, we do it to improve strength in the body and wellness. And we're using that with our patients through the Hope Regeneration Center. So the next level of regeneration for, for Dr. Joe is doing Warden's Jelly, working with the stem cell and exosomes that keep me getting physically stronger. And the thing that has really enhanced my function from using Warden's Jelly therapy is that I could exercise every day. I couldn't do that before. My fatigue level would go through the roof if I had to exercise. And I would get brain fog. And then I'd at the rest. And I really couldn't do the things that I really wanted to do. Or I had to sacrifice my time at work. I had to sacrifice this or sacrifice that. Um, life is better now. This year... Eight years after my injury, I can say that I'm really progressing forward. And um, I thought that before, but now that I'm at this level, uh, the things that I do, I have a, a, an exercise bike. I have a Schwinn Aerodyne. I do lower body. I do upper body work on the bike. I do sit-ups. I do a row machine. I have a stair climber. I do the stair climber. I have a bozu ball, by which I help with my balance. Then I do weights on the bozu ball. Then I do kettlebells. I have kettlebells that I do when I'm working out. The amount of exercise I can do now is incredible compared to where I was two years ago and even last year. 
And uh, I would say that exercise, getting your muscle system working in your body will basically boost your brain. So by getting these warden's jelly, the stem cell with the exosomes, and I do it intranasally, and the patients that I've seen in the office have, do the same thing, seem to improve with their ability to do the rehabilitation at a greater exponential rate. It's exponential. So we're seeing a better improvement in patients with our total program. Now, I've always talked about total program or doing work with a comprehensive program. I don't believe anymore in segmented programs, one therapy or this or that. I believe in comprehensive programs. I believe that you have to bring the brain and the body back. You have to bring it back together. And then we need to enhance not only brain function and plasticity, but we have to actually improve functionality and movement systems within the body, which improves circulation. It produces um, energy mechanisms to the cell, the metabolism. It, produce, it improves digestion, produces respiration, improves heart rate. It improves a sink of all the systems that the body needs to control to make you feel better. So you can decide that in 2026, the coming year, that you're going to seek a program like ours to help you with your state of health and well-being. And not only that, but the state well-being, uh, well-being of the family, all the caretakers that you have in your life that are there to support you. Now, I know you've probably been to many doctors, but here at 20, 25 different doctors. What makes the Hope Brain Center, the Hope Regeneration Center, different? And it's Dr. Joe. I've been through it, and I've been through it and struggled to find answers, just like you. I've struggled with family and friends and so forth who don't understand what it takes for someone to come back from devastating injuries like concussion, stroke. And brain injury is no joke. So if you want to consult with us, you can call us up and schedule an appointment. And I'll call you personally and discuss your situation, what you've been through, who you've seen. And then we can start the healing journey together so that we can work through this, so that you can change your life, take control of your health, and get on the road to recovery and to enjoying your family and friends again, especially during this holiday season. So if you want me to sing a Christmas carol, give me a call. I'll sing you a Christmas carol. I mean, I love Christmas. Christmas is really uh, the time of Jesus' birth. It was the start of our Savior and his life on earth, and it resulted in resurrection. And so I would be happy to get you ready for your next Christmas. Have a great day. God bless you. And give us a call. Thank you for joining us on My Pots Podcast. If you're looking for more support, visit us at hopebraincenter.com or follow our journey on TikTok where we share daily insights and inspiration. Remember, healing is possible. I'm living proof. I'm Dr. Joseph Schneider, and I'll see you next time as we continue exploring paths to recovery.